Now, in this previous example here, um, this prototype example, we did we rolled up ourselves the cloning, as you saw, okay. Uh, but likely, if you are working with Java, what happens is with Java, they have actually another interface called clonable which allows this system which allows the class to know that okay this class is indeed can be cloned okay so what we would do to make a few changes here in fact to simplify things i'm going to go ahead and create a new package here okay so i can show you it's very similar to what we just did but um, in this case i'm just going to create a new package here i'm going to call this let's just call this model for the lack of better names here okay so let's create a new one i'm going to call this animal again it's going to be exactly the same just now we're going to use clonable so it's going to be animal uh, this will we this is an interface we can't we can't implement now if we change this to an abstract class then we will we would have been able to use the implements but in any case okay so uh interface animal i'm going to say extends and we'll extend clonable so here I'm going to go ahead and say public animal call this clone as such okay in fact it looks like we don't need to put the public there because it's redundant no problem so in this case now we have an animal so that means if we want it we can go ahead and create a new class here I'm going to call this class person yeah, it's a new person. I'm going to just go do the same thing. In fact, we already have this person here. I'm going to just go ahead and copy all of this. Paste it in there. There we go. Perfect. Now, this person here, what we're going to do, we're going to say implements animal as such. And then you notice we'll have to implement the method, which is clone animal. And there we go. So now here to return, we are going to go ahead and say new person, which will then pass our name and age. Okay, essentially the same thing that we've done, but now we're doing things a little bit different because our animal class here, or interface, extends clonable. We use this again uh, in Java, right? Because now we can extend the clonable interface that way our other classes know exactly that what this class is able to do. So now if we go to main again, let's go ahead and comment all of this out. I can easily say person. Notice I want port person for model, right? Say person is equal to new person. And we pass James, say 45. Just like that. Okay, now I have that person. I can go ahead and say S out person one. And I say person like that. Okay, and while we there, let's go to this person here and also create the two string like that. And I'm going to say person plus name. There we go. So go back to main here again. Uh, we're going to say person again person from model I'm gonna say second person and I'm gonna clone the first person the person dot clone and of course I'm gonna make it so that this is indeed a person type okay we need to cast because otherwise it's just gonna be a generic animal All right and now I can see s out again and say person copy again the same thing we did before just a different perspective here like that now I can also show you that this is indeed a copy of the person number two uh, person number one I can say s out okay and I can say system I'm gonna use the system and say hash identity hash code as such and I'm gonna go ahead and pass the person object the first one 
right and I can go ahead and and here new line s system that I then dash code and I'm gonna say second person like that so what this is gonna do is going to speed out memory location of each of these objects so you can see we actually creating new objects right as we copy them or clone them if you will so go ahead and run this and you can see person James, person James, copy, and look at that. See, this is the memory hash code. So you can see they have different hash codes, which means they are in different locations. So we have successfully cloned, again, the person James. Okay, again, this is exactly the same what we did before, but now I'm showing you how to do it properly, especially in Java. There's one other thing that we need to account for here. This is not wrong, but there's something else we need to do. So in the animal clone where we are overriding, the making the actual copy, okay, we're returning here the uh, copy of the person, in this case, an instance of this. The better way would be actually to create in, I'm gonna say S out here so that we can see when things are being created, right? I'm gonna say creating person. And so what I'm going to do here, actually, to simplify, to make things actually better, I'm going to go and say a person, create a person uh, instance here. I'm going to call this person and set it to null. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say then person, create this person. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to make sure that I cast this object here. And I'm going to call super dot clone because I want the super to take care of all of these things to create this clone. Why? Because we have our animal clonable. Okay, that's the whole idea. Because if we had left it the way it was, it would have been the same thing that we've done before, which is not wrong. But now we are doing the Java way. So we have this squiggly, ugly red line here. It's just because it says that things could go wrong. We need to surround it try and catch right clone not supported exception so this just says that if the object that is cloning or being cloned doesn't accept is not clonable then we're gonna have an exception okay so we have a try and catch here exception to make sure things work correctly when they are supposed to run we can go ahead and return our person like that okay Okay, so here what I'm going to do inside of our constructor here, uh, I'm going to go just say s out. I'm going to say person is created. Okay, so that's just going to simplify our lives a little bit. Of course, in this case here, our person is just going to be a bare person. Um, the next thing we can do, we can create setters, getters, and setters here, just to simplify since we have our instance variables. There we go. And I can go ahead and say here, once it's cloned, I can say person that age is equal to 32. And I'm going to set it to James, something like that. Or, okay, once we have that, I can go back to main here. And there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. Again, just like the way it is, it's going to give us the same result, except now we added this creating person and that's and so the results are still the same. We just now know that we have used the power of Java, what it comes with, which is the clonable interface. Okay? And the cool thing is if you actually want to know more about this clonable interface, you can click there and look at that. So if you're here, cl click on command key and click and then it gives you the actual implementation of that class. There we go. Okay, so this is, was the second part that I thought it was important for you to also understand and know uh, other ways you can do the same thing, uh, but now using the clonable interface. Perfect. I'll see you next.